Welcome to your morning practice. This class is designed to get you up and moving to start the day right and help you feel better for the entire day. So let's get started. Come on to all fours. Set up on your hands and your knees with your hands outer shoulder distance apart and your fingers spread evenly. Really press down into all 10 finger pads and the index finger knuckles. As you inhale, lift your chin, look up. And as you exhale, round your spine, press down and forward, draw the sides of your waist back. Inhale, arch, pull your hands towards your knees. And exhale, round, press your hands forward as you lift your navel to the spine. Inhale, arch, moving with your breath. And exhale, round, belly back. Now start to make circles with your rib cage. You can close your eyes. See so your head and your tail circle in one direction and your rib cage circles in the opposite direction. Keep your hands strong and your arms straight so you can isolate the movement in your hips and in your spine. Reverse direction. So opening up through the neck, through the sides of your waist, through your hips. And just tuning into how your, how your body feels today. And then find neutral and come onto your fingertips. And then walk your fingertips forward and keep your hips directly over your knees. Pull your fingertips towards each other and slightly back towards your knees. And on your exhale, release your chest and your upper back towards the floor. Lift the undersides of your arms, lift your inner armpits. With your exhale, let your chest release. Take one more breath here, keeping the arms strong. And on the exhale, soften the heart. Slide your hands back, tuck your toes. Lift your knees and press back into downward facing dog. Press down through your arms. And then take your feet as wide as your mat and grab a hold of the sides of your mat. Bend your knees deeply and pull the mat forward as you reach your hips back. Tilt your tailbone up towards the sky and then press your knees apart and widen your thigh bones, widen your sitting bones apart. Keep pulling the mat forward to stretch your spine long. And then bring your hands back to shoulder distance apart and your feet back to hip distance apart. Inhale, lift your heels high. Keep your heels lifted and tilt the tailbone up towards the sky. Create a low back curve. And then slowly press the tops of your thighs back and stretch your heels back as you ground down into your legs. Press forward into your hands. And then inhale, wave forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin to the floor. Ashtangasana. Press your hands forward to keep your hips high. And then release all the way down into your belly. Take your fingertips off the mat. Tent your fingertips. Lift your elbows so they're directly over your wrists. Point your feet straight back with all 10 of your toenails facing the floor. Then inhale, lift up, head back, shoulders back. And on your exhale, come halfway forward and down. Pulsate with your breath. Inhale, lift up. Keep your legs strong and active. Exhale, wave down. Stretch forward as you lower. Walk your hands back a few more inches. One more time, inhale. And exhale, release all the way back to the floor. Plant your hands, tuck your toes. Press your hips back to your heels, extended child. So keeping your feet flexed and your arms straight, push forward with your hands so your hips move back towards your heels. And then inhale to all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, hop or step to the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold and bow. Two more, inhale. And exhale, let your head drop towards the floor. One more inhale, lengthening through the sides of your waist, sides of your neck. Exhale, fold and bow, let your spine fully release. Let your head drop to the earth. And take a few more breaths here. You can shake out your head a little bit. Release your neck, soften your face. Inhale, halfway forward. 
Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Bend your knees slightly so you can reach your groins back. Create a low back curve. Push your feet apart and inhale, come to standing. And then inhale, reach your arms up, hold your left wrist. Exhale, crescent right. Pull on your left wrist and press down into your left leg. Inhale, come up, hold your right wrist, lift up tall. Exhale, crescent over to the left. Shift your hips slightly to the right and actively root down into your right leg and lengthen as you exhale and bend deeper. Then inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward, touch the floor. Inhale, lengthen, halfway forward. Exhale, step your left foot back, lower your left knee to the floor. Inhale, arms to the sky. Scissor your knees, your feet towards each other. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor, lift your back knee. Plant your palms. Inhale, plank, step your right foot back. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra. Draw your shoulders back, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one breath here. On your exhale, press down through your arms, stretch your hips back. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, float to the front. Inhale, long spine, long neck. Exhale, fold and bow. Inhale, rise, root down, reach up. Exhale, fold all the way back down, long spine as you come, increase at the hips. Inhale, halfway forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, right knee to the floor. Inhale, arms to the sky, lift up. Exhale, float your fingertips back down, lift your back knee. Plant your palms, inhale, plank, step your left foot back. Exhale, chaturanga, claw the floor as you lower. Inhale, cobra, reach your big toes straight back, outer shoulders wrap back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, come to the front of your mat. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold and bow. Inhale, rise, root down, reach high. Exhale, crease at the hips, bow all the way back down, touch the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot back, lunge. This time, keep your back knee lifted. Take your left fingertips off the mat to the left. Stretch your right arm alongside your ear. Side bend, twist, lunge. Press into your left fingertips. Draw your right shoulder back and curl your head back as you open your chest to the sky. Take right fingertips to the inside. Spin your left heel down to the floor and walk your hands diagonally left, down dog lunge. Let your head release between your upper arms. Keep your right knee widening right over your second toe and make your outer right hip heavy towards the floor. Walk your hands back to the front, lift your back heel. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling deeply and exhaling fully. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and float to the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway forward. Exhale, fold and bow. Inhale, rise. Strong legs as you stretch up out of the pelvis. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, right foot back, lunge. Right fingertips off to the right, fingers turn out, left arm alongside your ear. Press into right fingertips, lift your left ribs. Press into the ball of your back foot, back thigh lifts, and then curl your head back, open up. Left fingertips to the inside, spin your right heel down to the floor, and walk your hands diagonally right. Pull your feet towards each other. Turn the top of the left thigh out as you wrap your left seat under. Walk your hands back to the front. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into up dog or cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, hop to the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold and bow. This time, bend your knees deeply. Inhale, reach your arms up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit back, tilt your hips back. Wrap your outer arms forward. Let your shoulders relax down your back. And press your knees apart. Tone and lift your glutes as you stretch up through fingertips. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, touch the floor and fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step left foot back, lunge. Inhale, high lunge. This time, hold your left wrist. Lift up, and then exhale, crescent to the right again. Turn the left thigh in, left hip forward, right hip back. And as you root into your legs, lift up out of your pelvis as you reach to the right. Then inhale, come up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. And just widen your stance so that your knee is over your ankle and your right leg is 90 degrees. Look over your right middle finger. Inhale, right palm up. Exhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Stretch the right side body long as you lunge deeply into your front leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forearm to thigh or fingertips to the floor, side angle. Left arm alongside left ear. Press your right knee to the right. Draw your right hip under. Keep your left hip back as you press out through your back leg and stretch through your left arm. Bring your left fingertips to the floor, lift your back heel, and then bring your left hand forward about a hand's length so the hand is in front of the shoulder. Palm flat with your index finger pointing straight ahead. Turn your feet to the right. Walk your right foot halfway down your mat and reach your right arm up. Flex your feet strongly. Turn your right palm forward. Reach your right arm alongside your ear. Lift your ribs. Lift your hips. Then right hand to the floor. Down dog split. Float your right leg all the way back behind you. Open your hip. Bend your knee. Stack your right hip on top of the left. Now soften your left knee and turn onto the outer edge of your foot. Press into your left hand till your right hand gets light and then step the ball of your right foot behind you for a wild thing. Take your right hand behind your head, elbow in, then press your head into your hand and curl back. Lift your chest high. Now bend your left knee so the weight is back into your left foot, right arm up. Lift your right knee, push your left hand forward and slowly transition into a lunge. Step your right foot forward. Take your right fingertips forward, slightly right. Reach your left arm back, up to the sky for half moon pose. Flex your left foot, open your left hip. Stack your left hip on top of your right. Spread your top toes and reach back through your back leg. Find a steadiness in your right leg. Soften your right knee, stand up. Left knee up. And then wrap left leg over right leg and left arm underneath the right arm, Garudasana. Inhale, lift your elbows. Exhale, sit down. Sit your hips back like chair pose. Inhale here, drawing arms and legs towards each other. Exhale, round your spine and come forward into Garudasana. Soften the back of your neck and find the nice even curve of your spine. And then breathe into the space between your shoulders Widen your upper back. Unravel your arms and cross just the left ankle over your knee. And then bring your fingertips to the floor. You can always use blocks underneath your fingertips if they don't reach. Left foot flexed. Keep the pinky toe side of your left foot pulled back so the inner ankle is smooth. Keep your hips level and tilt both sitting bones equally up towards the sky. Take a deep breath into your hips. And exhale. Take your right hand to your left foot, release your foot to the floor, and bow forward over your legs. Bend your knees, inhale, reach your arms up, chair pose, Utkatasana. 
Push your knees apart, lift your chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, touch the floor and fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step your right foot back, lunge. Inhale, high lunge, come all the way up. Exhale, hold your right wrist. Inhale, lift your rib cage on all sides, up away from your pelvis. And as you exhale, crescent to the left. Pull on your right arm and turn the right thigh in so both hip bones face the front. Then inhale, come back up. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Widen your stance, heel to your feet slightly wider apart so that you've got the 90 degree angle on your front leg. Inhale, flip your left palm up. Exhale, reverse warrior, reach back to the back wall, stretching the left side of your body. Inhale, back up. Exhale, side angle. Either forearm to thigh or fingertips to the floor outside of your foot. Right arm alongside right ear. Wrap your upper arm, the tricep forward, the pinky finger side of your hand wraps down and the inner shoulder draws back. And then spin your chest to the sky. Bring your right fingertips to the floor, lift your right heel and then bring your right hand forward, palm flat. Turn the feet to the left. Walk your left foot halfway down, lift your left arm up. Claw the floor with your right hand, spin your bicep forward and stretch your left arm alongside your ear. Lift your hips by pushing your right hand down and forward. Left hand to the floor, down dog split. Inhale your left leg behind you. Open up your hip, bend your knee, stack your left up on top of your right. Soften your right knee, spin onto the outer edge of your right foot. Now push into your right hand so your right arm is really strong and your right shoulder is secure as you step the ball of your left foot behind you. Left hand behind your head, elbow forward, and then curl back. Index finger, knuckle of the right hand rooted. Now bend your right knee so the weight comes back into the right foot, left arm high, hips high. Keep the hips high so that you can slowly transition gracefully into a lunge. Then take your left fingertips forward, slightly left. Float your right arm up and back as you lift your right leg in line with your right hip. Draw the outer left thigh back as you open your hips to the right. Spread your fingers, spread your toes, expand in all directions. Now soften your left knee, stand up. Find your balance, and then wrap right leg over left, right arm underneath left arm. Inhale, lift your elbows, and as you exhale, round your upper, round your spine, nesting eagle. Deep, even breathing, breathing into the back of your body, widening it, and then unravel and cross just your ankle over your knee and bring your fingertips to the floor. Flex your right foot. Pull the pinky toe side of your right foot back and press more through the big toe side of your foot. And then lift both hips evenly and even widen your sitting bones apart. One more breath here. And exhale. Take your left hand to your foot, release your foot to the floor and bow forward over your legs. Bend your knees. Inhale, reach your arms up. Utkatasana. Exhale, touch the floor and fold. Inhale, halfway forward. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee. Now turn your right toes out at an angle and take your left fingertips off the mat. Fingers pointing out. Bring your right hand to the inner right knee. Push your hand into your knee. Hug your knee into your hand. Stay here or drag your back knee forward and lift your foot. Take your right arm back, hold the pinky toe side of your foot for a quad stretch. And draw the foot towards the outer left hip. Turn your toes slightly to the left so your ankle stays square. If it's available to you, you can come down onto your left forearm. Draw your right shoulder back. Curl your head back. Open your throat. Keep dragging your back knee forward, 
the top of the left thigh is lifting up away from the floor. And then release your back foot, widen your right foot to the right side of your mat, and come down onto your left forearm or maybe both. If your forearms don't reach the floor, you can walk your right foot back slightly or you can put a block or some books underneath your left forearm. Now keep your back toes tucked under so you keep some engagement in your back leg. Ground the inner edge of your right foot and optionally you can lift your back knee and lift your back thigh up towards the sky as you draw your right hip back and in. If both forearms on the floor, have your elbows shoulder distance apart, interlace your fingers so you have a stronger clasp, stronger foundation, and then step your right foot back for a forearm plank. You can come into this another way if that transition didn't work for you. Walk your feet forward and come into dolphin. So like a downward facing dog, but on your forearms. Press your elbows forward to move your chest back towards your feet. Press the thighs back, lift your hips high. Stretch out the shoulders here as you push down into your outer wrists. And then walk your feet back and release all the way to the floor. Bring your forehead to the floor and the arms by your sides. Then inhale, lift up, Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. Arms, legs, chest, everything lifts. Press your big toe mounds together and create an even curve of your spine. Shoulders back, chest forward. And then tuck your toes. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, plank, either straight or bent knees. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. Root down into the earth. And then just step your left foot forward. Lower your right knee to the floor. Take your right fingertips off to the right, left hand to the inner knee. Push your hand into your knee, your knee into your hand, left shoulder back, and then take the quad stretch, or you can just stay there. Draw the foot to the outer right hip, and turn the toes in towards that hand, slightly to the right. And then if you did on the first side, come onto your right forearm, and curl back, curl that left shoulder back, open up. And then release your foot. Heel toe your left foot to the left side of your mat and come down onto your forearms on the inside of the foot. So have your left foot enough to the left so you have space for your torso to come down. And then if you straighten the back leg on the first side, do it again. Hug the knee in towards the left shoulder. Lift the top of the right thigh up. So don't let your pelvis collapse towards the floor. Keep it lifted as you pull your legs towards each other. And then if both forearms are down, interlace your fingers, step your left foot back to meet the right, forearm plank. Breathing here as you spread the shoulders by pushing down into your forearms. Now walk your feet forward and take your feet as wide as your mat. Keep your head off the floor and stack your shoulders over your elbows and lift way up onto your tippy toes. If your hamstrings are a bit tight, you can just bend your knees slightly and then focus on lifting your hips high. Press down through your arms, stretch your spine long. Take one more breath, and then lower. Feet together, knees apart. Take a rest in child's pose. And in your child's pose, feel your breath. Feel your lungs expand on the ribs, and your ribs expanding into your thighs. And then look forward. Start to lift your hips, tuck your toes. If you can, bring your chin to the floor, maybe even your throat and your chest to the floor, like an inchworm. Just opening up some space in the upper back. Come onto all fours and come onto your belly. Now forehead to the floor. This time, interlace your hands behind your back. Take a deep breath, lengthen the sides of your waist, draw your shoulders back, and lift up, Shalabhasana. Try to lift your wrists up away from your hips. Reach your arms back towards your feet. Lift your legs, lift your upper body, lift everything high. Inhale, one last breath here. 
And then exhale, release, turn your head to one side. Relax your legs, relax your shoulders. And just take a breath here to fully release. And then bend your knees, reach back and grab a hold of the tops of your feet. Now first press your knees down and forward till your hips lift off of the floor and your heels come to your sitting bones and your sitting bones lift to your heels. And then kick back into Dhanurasana bow pose. Keep your legs hip distance apart, parallel. You can keep your knees low and lift your chest up high using your legs. And just make the neck follow the line of your spine so you're not overly lifting your head or dropping it. One last breath. And then release. Turn your head to the opposite side. Bend your knees and windshield wiper your shins side to side. And then flip onto your back. Set up for a bridge. So place your feet hip distance apart parallel. Bend your elbows by your sides like a robot. Press your head straight back, lift your hips up. Stay here or interlace your hands underneath you, drawing your shoulders up and back. Stay here or if you like to go into a full wheel, walk your feet underneath your outer hips. Release your hands. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and lift up to the top of your head. Walk your hands away from your head so your elbows are over your wrists and try to lift your knees up to deepen your groins, and then push into your arms, press into your feet, and lift up. And try to straighten your arms, push into the floor with your hands, but keep your hips fairly low. See if you can keep the groins deep and move your chest over your wrists more. So you're opening up through the upper back as opposed to the lower back. Keep the balls of your feet heavy and your heels hovering. Take one more breath, lift one more, press down, and then tuck your chin, come onto your back, walk your feet out, hold your elbows, and press your head down so you can scoot your ribcage up away from the pelvis, then bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart, and hold, bring your elbows over your head, Supta Baddha Konasana. Close your eyes and just let gravity take over. Soften your groins. Let your thighs release towards the floor. And just notice how you feel. Notice if you can feel your energy flowing more freely, more optimally through the body. And then open your eyes, support the outer knees, lift them up. Bring your hips to the right, Knees to the left, and twist to your right. Now bend your elbows, press your left elbow down so you can lift your chest and turn it to the right to get a deeper twist. You can bring your left hand to your right knee and draw your right hip down so that the left side waist is off the floor and your hips are level. Breathe here as you twist your right rib cage towards the floor. And then lift. Your knees, bring your hips left, knees right. Stack your hips, stack your knees. And then you can use your right elbow, pressing down as leverage to twist deeper to the left. Look to your left. Drawing your left shoulder towards the floor. And your left hip away from your left shoulder. Your left hip down towards your feet.
I like to grab the back slash and lift it up so that I have an optimal curve in the low back. And I press my head down to lift the rib cage up away from the pelvis to create length in the low back. And then with the palms facing up and the feet bobbed open, let everything completely go. Release all of your physical effort. Take a few moments to consciously relax. And take as long as you like here. So you have, if you have more time, you can take more time if you need to get up and go. When you're ready, you can deepen your breath and move and stretch. And come up when you're ready, rolling to your right side. Thank you so much.